What if I told you that these IEMs are all you need for music listening, movie watching, and competitive gaming, and they cost $20? Yep, Linsoul currently has these for sale at $20, with their normal price only being $23. Today, let me tell you why these little buds will outclass most if not any gaming headset that you might have and sound stunning for such a little amount. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Thomas and I'm no audiophile by any means, but this year I have become quite into my sound and audio and with that, IEMs. I actually did a video not too long ago about why you should move over to IEMs and I'm not going to go through all of that in this video. If you want to check that out, links will be in the description. But Linsoul offered to send over a couple of pairs so you'll be getting a couple of reviews and they haven't sponsored this video. I haven't been paid to say any nice things about the product or the website. It's just nice. They helped me out. So I thought I'd include their links in the description. So if you do want to check these out for yourself, do check out the description. For clarity, I tested these with a mix of Audient Evo 4 Fio K5 Pro and Google's USB-C DAC that came with a couple of pixels. But onto these mysterious IEMs, they're called the Solnotes 7Hz Zero, which is a bit of a mouthful, let's say that, but I'll be calling them the Zeros from now on just for clarity. They feature a single 10mm dynamic driver, which means that they aren't overly complex with all that high-end voodoo magic stuff that you'll find in higher-end IEMs. These are the basics done well as simple as you like, tuned really, really nicely. We'll get onto sound quality in a second, but firstly I want to talk about the unboxing experience, which is pretty good. It's nothing dramatic or crazy. You don't get crazy, you know, extra materials and stickers and all that stuff, but you get a nice setup here. The zeros are displayed in a foam piece with a cable and the tips coming in separate baggies, of which there are five different colors to choose from with the tips, which is nice. They're all different sizes. I want to touch on the cable quickly. It is a really nice cable for this sort of price point. I've been using the ZS10 Pros from KZ that are about double the price and the cable isn't nearly as nice, it's not as textured, it's not as sort of supple feeling as this one. Now this is by no means a nice cable when it comes to IEMs, but it's decent for the price I would say, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It's nice that it's also a two pin, meaning that you can swap it out for other two pin cables if you do want like a nice braided one or one that's you know, longer, one that has a mic built in, anything like that. And you can opt for the $10 cable actually from Linsol that comes with the extra mic or from any other retailer but you get the the mic included for an extra ten dollars which is nice the IEMs themselves aren't overly well built but I would say they're pretty nicely made they look pretty classy with the red tips it's got like a plastic shell with a metal plate on the front and you could of course put your own silicone or foam tips on these if you want the red ones that came with my zeros fit basically perfectly for me and I don't have any foams that I have you know available at the moment moment there on my other IEMs I would actually say these are pretty comfortable and obviously this is going to vary wildly on your sh the shape of your ear um, but I have found these to be probably the most comfortable IEMs that I've worn in a very long time especially given that they don't stick out hugely or protrude hugely from your ear they're not very deep meaning that you know if you were to wear a hat or something that goes over your ears you're not going to feel any kind of discomfort well, I mean you might do but I didn't feel any discomfort at least these were pretty comfortable if you're not an IEM person, these may be a little bit uncomfortable, you know, to start with because IEMs tend to be fairly uncomfortable to start with. But after a good few days, you will get used to them. And when you switch to other IEMs, you'll probably get used to those as well. It is an acquired taste, I found, but it is something that, you know, like I said, over a couple of days, you do get used to. These also come in a small handful of colors. The white ones look really clean, but I do like these classy black items too. Maybe I'm a bit boring, but I think they look quite nice. The sound quality is honestly where these things shine. They have a slightly slanted shape when it comes to the sound. So there's clear mids. Here's a graph that I found online. I will leave a link to the source in the description. There are clear mids, but not loads of bass. Good sub bass, I would say, and sparkly highs. Don't confuse sparkly highs with the tinny sound. That's definitely not this. What it means is you get a lot of detail in the higher frequencies, uh, but you still get plenty of fullness throughout the sound and they're not being huge amounts of mid bass, which is where you, you typically hear the bass from sort of hip hop, uh, means that they're not going to be for bass heads. Say if you're into, if you're a big fan of beat 
weight let's say you're not necessarily going to love these there's plenty of sub bass and don't get me wrong it is well represented it's very tight bass it doesn't feel loose it doesn't feel sort of cheap it feels nice high end nice mid bass really good sub bass gives you a good ambient feeling you know in a game for example and what this ends up sort of meaning that is that you get a more technical sound but not anything that's overly done i don't think these are going to fatigue you in any kind of way you know it's not one of those kinds of sounds what it really means is that these are perfect for gaming which we'll get onto a little bit later so if you listen to sort of ajr or logic or any kind of hip hop these will sound decent but if you listen to sort of classical well, you know, and it's unlikely that you listen to classical or you listen to something with a lot of deep sub bass in it from sort of strings and stuff you will hear more of a, a fullness throughout the music that said my music library is mostly you know limp biscuit and red hot chili peppers and stuff and it sounds great through those but let's get back onto that competitive gaming that i talked about earlier this is where i think these things shine and will be replacing my established kz zs10 pros as the default pickup for CSGO, Valorant, Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, Overwatch 2, basically anything competitive and a shooter. These things are now constantly plugged into my PC and then when I switch over to console, I plug them straight into the controller. Uh, yeah, that's this is the go-to for me now. Maybe not as technically excellent as the ZS10 Pros in terms of the full sound, for, but for picking up details, the 7 hertz. See, where the ZS10 Pros allow clarity for footsteps in games, these push that to another level. For as long as I have a working pair of Zeros, these will be my game and go-to, you see. The footsteps are clear, the, the distant gunshot detail will help you identify the gun type, even though it's in the distance, that's how detailed these things are. And there's still enough low end to feel like you're part of the game, you know, there is an immersion level there, even if these things aren't made for immersion. The imaging and sound stage, for example, isn't going to blow you away, but it definitely feels like the audio is here and not like you're sitting in an auditorium, but for anyone new to IEMs, this won't worry you and you probably won't even notice it. For instance, if I was going to pick up a single player, say, open world game, where I want to feel immersed in it, maybe I wouldn't pick these, I would pick something like the Hook X's, video coming soon by the way, but if I was to use the zeros, which I have done on several occasions, you know, I don't feel like I really need to go and pick a different IEM or a different set of headphones. It's just, I know I have those extra headphones, so I want to try those. I think what I'm trying to say through all this rambly nonsense is that the 700 zeros are fairly entry level, but if you're new to IEMs, these are going to sound incredible. And you'll slowly, once you go down the rabbit hole of audio, discover the stuff that feels wider and feels more you know, immersive in that sense. And if you're someone who uses AirPods Pros, for example, or other kinds of earbuds, these IEMs will sound as good as those, if not better, but be excellent for gaming. So if you have sort of a HyperX or a Turtle Beach or an Astro headset, these IEMs are gonna blow those out of the water, at least for competitive FPS gaming. Yeah, I'm going to say that you're not going to get a hundred dollar, hundred pound headset that sounds as good as these, you know, is as portable, is as is easily to drive. Obviously, with gaming headsets, they tend to be USB. This is a three and a half mil. So you could plug it into a phone with an adapter or a Sony. If you have one of those, you could plug it into a laptop. You could plug it into a desktop, into a controller, into a TV, into an iPad. You get where I'm coming from with this. So I will leave links to where you can buy the 7 hertz zeros from Linsol in the video description. Massive shout out to them for you know sending out some audio products. It's really cool to check these things out and obviously the guys have been really helpful over there as well. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Massive shout out to my Patreon for being continually supportive. Really do appreciate you dude. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been Ryan Thomas and I'll catch you later. Peace.